Hello and welcome back to Rev Endurance Sports and another edition of Product Reviews. Rev Reviews as I like. I like to brand everything, right? So um, I had a customer who has been watching the YouTube channel ask me about a saddle and I didn't know about it. And so I went through the process of establishing the correct size for him and um, and the model that might be appropriate based on what he was asking about and maybe what I could discover. So the saddle came in today. I'm about to ship it off, but I thought, why not talk to you folks about this saddle? This is the 610 m dash d and um you know at by first my first look at it is it has a very significant very significant depression here and this is very popular with the sq lab saddles let me see if i can find just a regular road one I apologize for walking off screen, I'm sorry. But just to show you, hopefully with the shadows and the shading of the light, you can probably see the difference between this one being much, much deeper than the standard road saddle. Now, I've also had a lot of folks ask me, oh, what do you think about this mountain bike saddle and that mountain bike saddle? And I'm of the opinion that if you find a saddle that works for you on the road, why not put it on your mountain bike too? But there are different demands, and in the past, the SQ Lab mountain bike saddles had a longer nose. But let's get back to the 610. That one that I showed you was the 612, my preferred road saddle. The 610, if we read uh, the description, represents maximum relief. It was developed for maximum relief of sensitive areas, pressure distribution according to medical criteria. So it provides a maximum dip and in combination with the high classic step. So this is very prominent in SQ Lab saddles. You have the nose of the saddle and then it steps up to where your sit bones go. Here, and you'll notice this massive step up. So a massive step up and a um, maximum dip, right? Um, and then it also says that it's designed for mountain biker and sporty trekking rider. The relief of the perineum, perineal area is very high at 82%. I don't know what it is on the, on the road saddle, but this is a very, very padded saddle. I, I've never seen a saddle so padded from SQ Lab. They do make, you know, ridiculously padded saddles but this is the first time I've seen this 610 saddle here. And, um, you know, it says uh, it's especially longer hours and all this stuff. So I, I think I see this saddle as the type of saddle you would ride if you just wanted to wear maybe, you know, what I'm calling a board short, but it's probably just a, you know, regular, shorts like not a padded short no chamois and you just wanted to sit on the bike maybe you've got uh, panniers on your bike you're loaded and you're just out riding your bike and you don't want to have uh, cycling specific shorts on with a chamois I could see where this this would have the benefit of this um, pa heavily padded saddle the rails are also a solid rail so uh, heavier riders, male, female, you know, there's no gender, by the way, no gender specific saddles for the SQ Lab saddles. So if you uh, measure a certain amount, you ride that saddle, regardless of whether you're male or female. It's one of the things I like about um, carrying SQ Lab saddles. I don't have to carry women specific saddles and male specific saddles. But the saddle rails on this, going back to it, is a solid rail as opposed to a hollow rail like a lot of the performance saddles are and that just will add to the robustness of the saddle for long term also you'll notice 
this right here. So this is an active saddle and in your packaging will come uh, two other inserts. Typically the white gives the most movement, gray restricts it a little bit, and then black is the firmest setting and it's all dependent on weight. But I generally tell people, hey, if you are going to ride an active saddle, why not take the most benefit out of it and ride the white insert or the uh, gray insert? Because by the time you go to the black and it's restricting most of the travel, I'm wondering what's the point. But you have to do you and you, as you experiment, as you ride, you experiment which, which insert works best for you. So it's a, it's a fairly heavy saddle, which, which, as I mentioned, is going to add to its robustness. Um, and just one more thing that they have a hardness um, scale that they use, and this is a 50. So I guess if we would compare it to other saddles, it would be whatever, um, more cushiony it's the one thing i can tell right away i mean this has a significant amount of cushion but i am not going to ride this saddle i am i have to ship it out to a customer asap it just came in today so i'm going to ship it out right straight away uh another time if i get an extra one i'll i'll ride it just for fun um i'm not a big fan of padded saddles i prefer very little padding and firm saddles because for me the longer the distance the more comfortable a firm firmer saddle is than something with a lot of cushion and i know that's counterintuitive because a lot of folks say oh i want a nice cushy saddle i'm going to do my first century or my first 50 mile or whatever but that's not actually true okay so i've got a customer inbound he's probably here right now so um that's the quick review of the 610 M-D um, 14. Now this is a 14 centimeter. And if you lose track of what saddle you have in case you wanted to order another one. And oh, speaking of, I always tell folks, once you find a saddle that works for you, please buy two of them because by the time you need another saddle, it gets discontinued. Okay, my customers here, I got to get running. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you up the road.